For more than 50 years, Camp Wahanawan and the National Music Camp have been staples of generations of families, but now both are being sued for allegedly failing to change a sexualized environment at the overnight summer camp two hours north of Toronto, in which former female employees allege allowed male staff members to abuse them. Now, we do want to warn you this morning, there is disturbing content in this report. It may be triggering for anyone who has experienced sexual violence or knows someone affected by it. But the exclusive story this morning from our Angela King. The two women who were teens at the time described what happened to them as grooming. They met Tom Lees at the camp. He was helping to run the theater department. They say he was talented and popular. They were 15. He was nearly double their age. We're not identifying the women who were underage victims of sexual abuse. Instead, we'll call them Anne and Paige. They both say Lees pursued a secret sexual relationship with them through social media, including asking them for nude photos. It all happened very quickly, and it all happened in a very precise manner. Uh, he knew there was a power dynamic. He took advantage of it. In the summer of 2019, Anne says she discovered Lees was holding private rehearsals with a pre-teen girl at camp. She told Paige, and that's when the two decided they had to call police. We spoke with Anne over the phone. I felt more of a responsibility to protect everyone else that I knew and every other camper in that camp from experiencing him in the way that I did. Lees was arrested at camp. Months later, he pleaded guilty to luring a person under 16 and possession of child pornography. The lawsuit claims the camp was negligent in failing to change its sexualized camp environments, which allowed for illegal and immoral sexual activities with children who were under their supervision. It also claims Paige and Anne were victims of sexual abuse by two other male staff members. In its statement of defense, the camp say they weren't negligent and deny that they in any way knowingly aided, encouraged, permitted, acquiesced or covered up any acts of sexual grooming, misconduct or abuse. The suit has not been tested in court. But two former senior staff members told CBC News they warned the camp's leadership about Lees in 2017, the same summer he met Paige. One of those staffers say she argued during a 2018 meeting he should not be hired back but he was. CBC News spoke with several former employees who say that the camp directors knew about several other allegations of sexual assault, but say the bosses never suggested calling police. The camp's lawyer declined our request for comment. Angelina King, CBC News, Toronto. Now, there's much more into this year-long investigation into sexual abuse allegations at the camp up on our website. An interactive feature for you there at CBC News dot ca